Hey, what's up everybody? Russ with RWGresearch.com here. And today's kind of an interesting day. I've just got a lot of stuff on my mind, so I want to uh, discuss some stuff with you guys, and I want your feedback. Um, do watch this video. Some of you are like, oh good, just a boring nothing video, but it's, it's going to be an interesting little clip here. So try to keep it short and sweet, so I'm just going to get started. Um, basically, with my new job, I haven't had a whole lot of free time. And with the new baby, I haven't had a whole lot of time. I've got two little ones and a wife to take care of and a family. So it is uh, a little frustrating for me that I'm not able to work on my um, projects here as much as I'd like. Um, I used to have a little more free time, getting, a little, getting things done a little bit faster. And, um, you know, I just felt, uh, felt stuff was moving along and now it's kind of dragging. Um, but, you know, life is what it is and family does come first. But uh, I think it's very important to get this stuff going. Um, so don't get me wrong, it's very important to me. Um, but what I want to talk about, talk about to you guys is that I'm not really having enough time to do some of the things that I'd like to do. So I'm going to tell you what my ideas are and see if you guys can possibly come up with um, your own development on these items. Okay. The first thing I want to give you is this patent right here. Um, patent number, it's US patent 3... 982878 and it is the burning rate control in hydrogen fuel combustor all right and it's by this guy here um, all right and this um, right here gives you an abstract it says to a uh, to a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen or air having the I can't say that word Simo something or another, basically the correct um, formula, oxygen to hydrogen ratio, a dilutant gas such as carbon dioxide or argon is added before the mixture is fed into the combustor. When the burn rate of the mixture is excessively high, the dilutant in the combustion gas can be reused after separation of water. All right, and I'll scroll down here to the picture basically you have a oh I gotta zoom out for you guys hydrogen and oxygen mixtured alright which is breaking down water if you want or these are bottled whatever then you enter a dilutant and you can bust it okay uh, same thing here and then we'll go to the last one alright <clears throat> and this is basically showing your H2 your O2 and your CO2 so your hydrogen, your oxygen, and your air. And this also has a, well, these things meter into a valve here and go through a, um, a mixer that makes the gas mix better. There's your uh, flow control into your engine, your valves, uh, your piston. This is a sensor, a sensor, your um, spark plug. This is a sensor here that controls the temperature inside this chamber. This is an RPM. Um, this is actually a control for your spark. This tells you when you're sparking. All right. And then this controls these devices and turns these valves here to the hydrogen and oxygen and the CO2 on correctly. If you read this patent, you'll get all this information. I'm just giving you information from the patent. Then over here you have a, a heat exchanger. All right. So the exhaust comes out and you're burning H and O, hydrogen and oxygen. So you're going to get a water vapor or you're, you're going to get water as exit. And it, this heat exchanger all right drains it down to this tank and then it just drains out so the hydrogen and oxygen is actually like bottled or something but we could make it with our cells okay and that would be the goal and then the rest of the non-combustible gases go back into this system now if you guys know anything about Stan Myers um, you know this will make sense to you Stan was using reclaimed um, oxygen or reclaimed I'm sorry reclaimed um, exhaust gases meter mixing it back into his fuel and then that's how he was controlling the burn rate. Well, the CO2 in this patent says you can start it with this. Once it, everything gets burning hot and everything gets flowing nice, then you can just use the recycled exhaust gases and you, you no longer need the CO2. So you're doing exactly um, what Stan states in his patents. And what's interesting is this patent was actually referenced in a patent that Stan had. So, so I'm kind of wondering, you know, a lot of this stuff, if Stan, and this is fine if he did, um, Whoa. But I'm wondering if, if um, a lot of this stuff has to do with Stan taking patent information 
whole bunch of different people's ideas and collaborating to, together, which is perfectly great. I mean, that's that's the way you got to do stuff sometimes. I'm okay with that. Um, but what I want to do is this simple seems this setup seems pretty simple. Um, get you some hydrogen and some oxygen, which you can make on your own. Um, the split gas cell that I'm working with, I can use it. Um, and get some CO2 or argon, which you can find argon for welders. It just has to be a, a, a non-combustible gas, basically. But read the patent, it gives you a little bit more information there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so you mix these things together and then you, then you run it through your engine. Um, it is looking at temperature control and all this little nitpick stuff. But it would be interesting to see if you could take hydrogen and oxygen and meter mix them together with a non-combustible gas, which is your exhaust and get this thing to work like it's supposed to without ionizing any gases see that's where Stan was doing stuff differently he was ionizing gases um, so that's one thing I want you guys to read this patent and over at the forums I will post this link in the description but over at the forums there is a uh, a thread it's called how to run a moped slash scooter on water um, that's something that would be really easy to start with um, and I think it's a good idea to check that out. And the thread has the um, link to the patent if you can't find it online. Okay, so I'll post that in the description. Um, what else I got to talk about is I know I've seen two other people actually ionize hydrogen and oxygen mixture and burn it, and they get a different burn rate. I've seen that. Um, I don't know where those two videos are. Um, they're posted on the forums over at um, open-source-energy.org, the forums that are run um, with rwgresearch.com. Um, so basically, I just um, I've got all these things that I want to try, I want to do. I'm working on the EPG. I've got last week um, there was a festival in our town. It's the third largest street festival in the world. Um, it's just called the Fall Festival. And um, so we did that last week. We just kind of hung out there with family and stuff for a while. So that was a busy, busy week. And I worked the whole weekend. I got two 12-hour days. I've been up for I don't even know how many hours right now. And um, that's probably why I can't speak my words correctly. But anyway, I got all these ideas, you know, and I want to do all this stuff. Um, and I just don't have enough time. Um, so I'm trying to find, you know, it would be great to have somebody invest where I could just do this stuff full time. But, hey, that's everybody's dream. Um, that'd be something interesting. What I what I do need you guys to do is invite people over to the forums and get them involved, um, and that way they can you know they can help in that direction. They can help over there. Uh, if you guys leave me a comment on this video, uh, it might take a little bit to get back with you again. I haven't even got to some of my YouTube messages and stuff, so emails and all that stuff. It's been been busy, busy, busy. Um, when you're gone for 14 hours a day, you got to find time to sleep and take care of the family. It's just difficult. Which is fine. I don't have a problem with it. But uh, that's why I haven't got a whole lot done. So if you are wondering, I didn't actually get anything else done on the EPG. It actually, I wrapped one more coil, but it hasn't moved. Um, I got to order my wire. Had some troubles doing that, so I'll be getting that in and uh, continuing. I do have half a spool left, but anyway. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys go with that, but I just got to get this stuff off my head, and I got to post it somewhere so you guys can see what I'm thinking. And also, um, you know, so basically I can watch this later and see what I was thinking that time because I'm just in some deep thought lately. But it's very frustrating to me that I can't get this stuff done fast enough. But life is what it is, and I'm okay with that. It's just just kind of frustrating because I, I really think this stuff will work. I know it will work. It's just a matter of doing it. And um, I know there's some of you out there who are even brighter than I am, much brighter than I am. Um, I am not the brightest crown in the box. Um, I might be up there, but I'm not the brightest. So, you know, I'm um, throwing this stuff out there for those people who can try this experiment. Get back with me. Uh, post the videos on the forums. Um, that's it. I'm going to leave you guys go with that. Um, probably got more to say, but I don't, I'll probably run out of time. So this might be the end of the video. If not, we'll keep going. Um, so the next thing on my list would be I want to figure out how much airflow is actually going into an engine. And then the ratio of hydrogen, or the ratio of oxygen, and then the gas fumes. And I want to somehow try to convert those numbers into a percentage of how much hydrogen I need to um, exhaust gases <clears throat> to 
oxygen or just regular air intake. Um, in that patent, it does talk about actually just using ambient air, but it also talks about using like actual oxygen. So I would make I would mix it between the oxygen in the HHO and the ambient air oxygen, and then Stan was ionizing the ambient air as well as the HHO coming off his cells. Since it was high voltage, it was already somewhat ionized. Um, that that creates a much uh, higher thermal burn is from you know all the information that I've gathered. So it's not these people that are trying to just burn HHO in in their in their cars. It's just they they just don't understand. It's very frustrating for the people who do understand because those are the people who don't have the pub publicity or the people following that should. Um, there's not just me. There's plenty of them out there. Plenty of people out there that are doing this stuff. Um, so I'm probably running out of time. So I just wanted to get these things off my chest and let you guys know I'm alive. I'm just fine. Just been busy, busy week. So hopefully I get back to wrapping some more coils. It actually would only take me like another four evenings of you know about three hours um, to wrap the rest of these coils. But I do have to get my wire ordered. So um, that's it. Peace and love from rwgresearch.com. This is Russ. Uh, send me an email at rwg42985 at aol.com. If I do not respond, you just have to be patient. I had, I have like, mm, I think I'm down to like 50 something emails and like 100 YouTube messages, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you only get a half an hour a day, you get on uh, your phone, not even a computer to type it up, it's difficult. So, love you guys. Thanks a lot for your uh, support. See ya.